Well, it must be the uniforms. <laughs> you know what, uh, very proud of our team today. Um, you know, I thought we had a great week of practice. We understood we haven't been playing the way we'd like to. Things that are, hadn't gone our way. Um, you know, we've made some mistakes. We've had some tough losses, but uh, we had a good week of practice and our guys understand it's about getting better. It's about whoever's out there find ways to compete and play hard and stick to it even when things maybe are struggling and uh, good things eventually will happen. I think today we came out uh, and played one of our better games and we played a little freer and looser and our guys competed hard uh, and I was proud of their performance. I was even more so proud of really the second half performance. I knew we did some decent things the first half but to come out in the second half uh, and shut them out uh, was great to see. So it was great uh, by our defense to have a shutout performance in the second half. A lot of things happened well, but Corey Trice was, was one that stood out. It's the guy that uh, turned the momentum within the first half and then made a good pick in the second half when they're driving. So, uh, you know, new people are stepping up, uh, but, you know, it's a credit to, to the work they put in. Uh, it's a credit to the work our coaches have put in to try to adjust, which we, we have. We've adjusted a few things here and there to just try to find ways to uh, lessen the sacks and create some confusion on defense uh, to the offense and just a few things here and there that we, we have to do. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, in the end to get a win, it's great for our team on homecoming in, in front of our fans. Any questions? Raise your hand with the mic to you. Start over here with Sam. Jeff, uh, when you get a pick six like that with 20 seconds left in the first half, what does that do for locker room morale going into the locker room? And what did Corey try to show you in that Minnesota game that's made him a mainstay at corner? Well, we always thought, thought Corey had some great promise. Um, you know, he came in as a safety. So really, you know, he's been a safety his whole life. And uh, due to our situation, we asked him to move the corner uh, because it was a position of need and we didn't have the depth we wanted. And he went over there and he's green there and he's raw. But uh, because of it, you know, he, he lacks fear. Just goes out there and plays, doesn't know any different. And he competes and he challenges things. And uh, I think he's made some good tackles and, uh, you know, to to make some tough interceptions and return for a touchdown just shows his athleticism. So very proud of him. And I know, um, you know, it's a credit to the work he's put in. Yeah, Jeff, talk a little bit about Jack's day. Just eight incomplete passes, 420 yards through the air as well. Proud of Jack as well. Uh, you know what, uh, playing the quarterback position, uh, you know, it's tougher than some people think. You know, sometimes when things aren't going well, you're going to, absorb most of the blame when things are going real well. You can absorb most of the credit and you got to be able to handle uh, when things aren't going well. And I think uh, last week, a lot of things happened, pressure, uh, losing a little confidence as the game goes on, which happens. Uh, and I think he has done a great job of just studying the things that he needs to get better at, going out and working hard at it. I thought we did a much better job of helping him today a little bit, but he executed. And uh, he threw some accurate footballs. He took care of the ball. He was a good leader. He had more poise, I thought, in the pocket. Ran it for a first down when we needed it. Uh, so I thought, the, you know, his performance was very, very good today. Talk about Bryson. Ten catches, Jeff. 140 yards. Uh, he's had 14 catches come into the game. A watershed moment for him. Well, it was great for Bryson. And, uh, you know, it was good to get him back on track. Uh, you know, he's a very good football player. Wanted to target him as much as we can, and I think our quarterbacks did a good job of locating him. And, uh, he did a good job of getting open on multiple different routes. Uh, so yes, that's that's a big part of our offense, and uh, you know he's uh, somebody that just continues to work. And I know some things lately haven't been as good as he would like either, but uh, he came through today, and uh, hopefully we can continue to improve upon that. Mike, did you see a, a growth moment from Jack on the first sack that? Uh, that he took early in the game and then coming around and knowing when to throw the ball away. Was that, was that a moment that, that maybe stands out in your mind other than his yardage and stuff? Well, uh, you know what, we, we, we put in a couple new different protection things to try to uh, help our offensive line, which I think helped. Uh, we had a little half roll play that he probably could have got out of his hand and uh, just kind of didn't like what he saw. And I think he realizes, hey, sometimes you just got to get a completion. You don't have to be wide open. You don't have to make the catch and be able to run for 40 yards. Sometimes you just got to be able to make the catch. If they get tackled when they catch it, it is what it is. And I think he understands that uh, that's part of it. You know, he, he's got a little slipperiness to him and athleticism. So he likes to think he can go out and make some plays with the speed, which you do like to a certain degree. But, you know, in that situation, uh, in the red zone, you got to throw it away. Uh, you 
you know, run it up in there and try to get back to the line of scrimmage. But yes, I thought he learned from it, and I think that uh, there's been a lot of growing moments for him. And to see him come out and play very, very effective and very well this game, uh, I'm very happy for him. David, coach, uh, you mentioned you had, you guys had a good, good week of practice. Obviously, Greg Bell started off the season, you know, missing a few practices. Obviously, his stats are good, but what are you seeing from him day to day and 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 on the practice field? David Bell. David Bell, yes. Well, you know what, David, uh, we think is an outstanding player. He's an outstanding athlete. It, yeah, he, he missed a lot of camp due to some injury and got injured in the TCU game and he's still kind of battling through that to be quite honest about it. And uh, he doesn't complain. He works extremely hard. He does whatever we ask. He's very unselfish. He makes plays, all right? When you throw it to him, he's gonna make the play 99% uh, of the time. And uh, he did, he makes contested catches. He goes up and catches the deep ball in traffic. He catches the deep ball uh, down the sideline. Uh, he has to show some physicality after the catch today. He got open on numerous slants, and uh, you know, so he, you know, he's a big time player. He's somebody that has to be a big part of this offense. And uh, as we continue to get better around him, I think he can showcase himself even more. Brian, what's it say about, I guess, both the situation you're in, but also what might lie ahead for your program potentially that all of your touchdowns today were accounted for by freshmen? Well, you guys are seeing the same thing I do. You know, we we think that. Uh, Recruiting has gone well uh, to a certain degree where we're uh, trying to get the best players we can to come in here and want to be difference makers and play right away. And they're probably more are getting to play right away than they thought. And uh, it's a chance to go out there and learn and get better. Uh, to see Milton Wright make the stutter move and go make the catch, run through the safety, shows how strong he is, get to the end zone. So it was great to see that. You know, he's a guy that suffered a concussion uh, a couple weeks ago and was out last week and fought his way back and wanted to be back last week if he could, but he didn't pass the, the test correctly mm -hmm. enough. Um, so, you know, I think we got some good young talent. And you know what? The time now is for them to play. And, uh, you know, our goal is to win now, though. We're going to try to win now, and we're going to try to improve and get better. But those guys are up due to our situation, and uh, we just want to see them continue to grow and improve and get better and have good weeks of practice and understand that they have a bright future, and then we just got to continue to build the team around uh, some of these um, good young players we have and, and find ways to continue to improve and realize our weaknesses at the end of the year and, and really push forward to get better at those. I don't know how many guys played for the first time today, um, but what's that challenge like as a staff when you're preparing during the week with a team maybe you weren't necessarily preparing to coach a couple weeks ago? Uh, when you're pulling so many guys at a red shirt or pulling so many guys from you know, the third and fourth team, so to speak, to you know, play pretty prominent roles for you. Well, I could uh, bring up a long list of guys that haven't played much that got in today, and I haven't seen the films, so I can't tell for sure, but I thought they did a great job. You take, a, for example, a guy like Sam Garvin, uh, thrust into the center row, a walk-on. Uh, came out of high school, went to IU, switched over to here. I uh, probably never thought he'd be starting this fast. But you know what? I think, as far as I, I know, he played the entire game. And I didn't see him noticeably mess up. So that was great to see. You see a guy like Eric Miller step in and split time with Will Bramwell and start. And Eric and Mark Sticker move over to left guard uh, and compete as hard as he can. Uh, then we have two kind of veterans, uh, McCann and Hermans. They've got to be steady and you got to be healthy and they've got to play well. Uh, so a lot of things um, like that have happened and, and new guys are emerging. Kyle Saunders had to play on defense. We lost two linebackers in the last three days uh, in, in Cornell and um, Kieran Douglas. Uh, Kieran Douglas. Uh, so you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm proud of all the young guys. And, and it's not going to be perfect every day. It's not going to be perfect in the game always. And you just got to let them uh, play through it and uh, compete and keep trying to find ways to win. Anything else? Uh, thanks, guys. Guys.